In this Canva review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about Canva. If you have any questions, please comment them below and also I'll leave a discounted link so you can get your money's worth for Canva. Here is the Canva homepage. This is what you'll see once you've made your account. Canva is a powerful design tool that can be used in education to create projects that not only look great, but it can also help students with digital design. Straight off the bat, you've got so many different templates and so many different designs that you could use on your project. It may seem a lot at first, but we're just gonna go over the basics in this video. You just wanna go over to the top corner over here and click create a design and click any of these options that suit you or what you're trying to make. So we're just gonna go for a YouTube thumbnail for this review. Once you click it, it should take you to a different landing page, which we're gonna do right now. Here we go. So it takes you to a blank page. You've got uh, a lot of different templates and designs. Again, you could look through as many as you need that suits your type of project. To go through every feature and tool in Canva, we're just gonna click one of these templates and I'm gonna go over every feature that you would need to know as a basic. Here we are. So. You can either pick one of these templates or you could even just start right over here with your own squares, shapes, logos, graphics, stickers, photos, videos, etc. So there's a lot of different things to choose from on this software. You can upload your own images here, videos of yourself, audio of yourself if you were creating a video. But for this, we're going to be creating a YouTube thumbnail since that is the one we clicked in the first place. Right here is the text section, loads of different fonts, loads of different designs. Again, a lot to choose from, to be honest. If you are to click on one of the texts right here, either midnight or gaming, or if you were to create your own text, you can duplicate it, delete it, or if you click on these three dots, it creates a whole list of different things you can do. Send backwards if you want to have stuff overlapping and other types of features like animate, comment, link, etc. There's different shapes that all have the same features that you can use. And this is just one of the templates of the many that you can choose from. So now that we've got one of the templates out of the way, we're just going to go back and remove that. And I'm gonna show you the features of designing your own from scratch. So let's say we wanted to create a music thumbnail. Let's just go out there and let's just make a music thumbnail. So I'd drag and drop one of the photos right here and you can do a lot of different things like resize it and rescale it and all stuff like that. Let's drag this over here, match it up with the actual thumbnail itself and just resize it so it fits the blank template. Now staying in the elements section, you have loads of different features like shapes that you can also add to your thumbnail. So let's just go over here. You can click this icon right here to generate loads more shapes. You don't just need to use the ones that are shown. I'm going to quickly pick one here that will just suit the thumbnail and show you the features. Right here, I'm gonna go with this hexagon just to create some sort of shape in my thumbnail. Now you may want to change the color of your shape. It's so easy to change the color. You literally just have to click up here on the color section. There you go. It creates a whole different section of colors that you can choose from. I think I'm just gonna go with white just for it to stand out for the thumbnail. I'm just going to quickly move this shape to the center. And if you also notice here, Canva also has its own lock-on features so that nothing is off-center or in the wrong area of your thumbnail. Next, we'll move on to the graphic section. Again, just you can go through these as many as you want, but we're just gonna click see all so we can go through them. We're mainly focusing on a music thumbnail, so I'm gonna use a another microphone. Again, I don't want it that color, so you just click up here on the color section and make it white. I've just done a bit of increasing and decreasing sizes of the images right now just to kind of get a feel for what I would want the thumbnail to look like. Again, whatever you are creating is so different. Canva has a huge variety of different types of projects. This is not the only thing you can do. As I showed earlier, there is a lot of different types of templates and whatever you want to create can be created. I'm just showing the basics of the elements, the text and the templates. Moving on to the text area, this is the text tab where you can add a heading, a subheading, and a little bit of body text as I've just read them out. And this is what you can do whether you're doing it for a presentation, a video, or a thumbnail. You can either click one of these font templates or you can click one of these where you create it yourself. So we're just gonna click add a heading and it should create a text box. Now you can type whatever you want in here by just removing that with your keyboard. And we're just gonna go ahead and type music thumbnail because I'm not actually creating a music video or a music thumbnail. 
I'm just going to show you how it works. Now, there's a lot here on the text area compared to the elements area. As you can see on this hotbar, you can change the font, the size, the color, the boldness. You can make it italic, you can underline it, you can uppercase it, alignment, list, spacing, and add effects or animate it if you are doing a video. We're just gonna go ahead and pick one of these fonts just to carry on the thumbnail with, and then we can scale it. You can increase the size, decrease the size, or just type in whatever size you want right here if you click it and then type in. And all the other sections are there if you need them as well. Right down here at the bottom is the more section. Now this is the section where you'd be able to add photos or you could add styles right here if you click that as well. And if you go back on the dots, you can just keep adding more. You can see that I've recently used one of these. If you'd want to change it, you'd just again drag and drop right there. And then just remove the background if you right click and then click delete. But we don't want to do that so over here you can also undo like that or redo if you want to redo what you've just done so there's a lot of different features uh, whether you want to use it for thumbnails or videos presentations all that all right so using just the features i have showed you so far i'm going to just quickly create my own thumbnail i'm just going to go on top of this a bit edit it a bit make it look a bit better but I'm not going to use any features that I haven't just shown in this review. And here we go. So right here, it may look like I've done quite a bit. However, I have just used the main things and the main features I have shown in this review. Right here, I have my heading text that I already showed to you guys. Then I also added a subheading text where I changed the color right here. And then added a few more elements at the bottom. I also added a few more elements over here. And that's pretty much all I did through the features that I have shown you in this review. Overall, I absolutely love the Canva software. I absolutely love that it can create so many different types of thumbnails, videos, Instagram photos, and just a lot of different types of graphic designs. Now, would I use Canva myself? Yes, I would absolutely use Canva myself. I love the variety of templates. I love the variety of graphics. I love the variety of design. Canva for me is also very easy and simplistic to use as I just showed you guys it's very easy to run through, very easy to pick up along the way and whether you're a beginner or even an expert I reckon you can make well made designs on here for whatever project you need. Would I recommend Canva to use? Yes I absolutely would. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.